many ads do you think we actually see in a day? Dozen, a hundred, or maybe a thousand. Back in the 70s, the average person saw 500 ads per day. And this number may double nowadays with online marketing. As we are moving away from our TVs towards our mobile phone, companies to remain relevant, we are seeing a paradigm shift from traditional marketing towards more digital and individualized medium. And the major players in this new transformation are social media influencers. Those of you who use social media, depending on your taste or preference or even your interest, you are probably following those influencers who share content about fashion, food, travel, or even parenting tips. The appearance of social media in our daily life is quite a unique phenomena. Many people rely on them and even trust them. But little is understood how much power those influencers exert on our behavior and emotions. Their ability to gain recognition and fame by posting the most attractive and eye-catching content through their preferred social media platforms. To broaden their followers' portfolio with the most passionate and committed individuals. But what gave them this ability? Their sexy physique? Their attractive or flashy content? Maybe. But the most power comes from the trust that those influencers built with their followers. Speaking about trust, Hava Media did a study and show that only 22% of brands are trusted. However, brands can cooperate with those influencers and immediately they gain a level of credibility. Recent study shows that 82% of consumers trust those influencer marketing than traditional one. To this extent, influencer marketing became a powerful form of advertising, offering a competitive return on investment and allowing brands to extend their market segment. And here, my friend comes in, a puffer fish. It's a common looking fish, but actually it has the ability to puff up, embellish itself to be three times larger. You know, this concept, also we can find it in advertisement world, but the word is known as puffery. A puffery is an exaggerated claim or vague opinion. It's legal and traditional advertisement use it from since long time ago. But we are aware about these practices, then such claim we cannot take it seriously. I will give you the example. For instance, when you are passing by burger place, and the burger that you will receive will not be the same as the picture, the exaggerated picture, and also, when you are seeing such cream, I think you are not believing that you will stay young forever. We understood that just a slogan company. We are not taking those as taking seriously those claims. But think what I said earlier. The advertisement is shifting to where a new paradigm, leading by whom? by the powerful influencers. In one side, they have enormous amount of trust among their followers, meaning whatever they said may be taken seriously. And in other hand, 
they are not held liable for their content. Meaning, is they are free to express their opinion in social media platform. Now that you know what puffery is about, let me share my own story. The story that led raising a question about influencer puffery content practices. Moving here to Korea, I had to take a stunter health check. The doctor saw me and said I was overweight. I really took it seriously. I looked into the option how to become healthier, and even I went to those personal trainer, but seeing the price, I ran away. And after that, I decided to turn to those influencers. The account that I follow, they will share their daily transformation, weight loss pictures, and also they will provide you with content what they are eating in a day to maintain a caloric deficit. Those uploaded video, they will provide you with the best solution ever to lose weight, including the best protein to take, the healthy meal to prepare, and even the ultimate workouts to do. Call me naive, but I follow those influencers diligently. I did everything. Long story short, after about one month, I realized that I was building an unhealthy relationship with food, exercise, and even my body. Food seems to be something I couldn't enjoy. Exercise, it became a punishment. And my health was never healthy enough. Truth to be told, the image that I would see myself in the mirror versus the truth I want to believe those influencers was too much far from each other, cannot sustain, and at the end, I felt miserable. And here I get this question. Why should influencer puffery content seen differently from brand puffery content? In the advertisement, rules, regulation are well established to promote fair competition and also to promote consumers, to, promote, to protect us. And also, like you said, me and you, we are skeptical about brands and advertisement. Then it's very hard to be misled by those brand puffery content. But on the other hand, influencers are seen as trustworthy and credible individuals. Rules, principles, and even values are not well established in social media setting, resulting in very fuzzy context. It's very, very hard to make a difference between a puffery content and genuine one. While you are listening to my story, some of you may wonder why I followed this influencer in the first place. Actually, looking back, why? I followed and even trust those influencers and consuming their content and even buying those recommended items, I realized that I was completely detached from who I was as a person. Yes, I was aware there is a problem, health problem. And even I understood what to do, what I wanted, reducing my weight and having a healthy lifestyle. But yet I was completely detached, completely disconnected from the process how to do it. I was just focused on the quick fix. I want a result now. And this is why I was relying on those influencers. Because those influencers, they are relying on our weaknesses. They are relying on our insecurities, and everyone has his own securities, body image, maybe relationship, or even job. They will provide you with content. I am pretty sure that you saw some of these contents. How to lose weight in 10 days, be a millionaire in six months, or even get shredded without workout. Those videos with absurd titles and verified method, they will give you the instant gratification. 
where you feel inspired, motivated, and even empowered. Actually, in my case, I felt related to those influencers and followers. Why? Because they have the same situation as me. They struggle like I struggled. Then, unconsciously, I project myself to them. And in that connection, and this is very tricky part, in that connection, my common sense and my instinct diminished. I couldn't make a difference between what is right and what is wrong. Actually, those content, they will create an illusion bubble for you. When the video is over, the bubble starts to fade. But with much content online, you will find always a video or tips to make this bubble alive. To make it worse, even the technology escalate the issue. How? When you are following some, someone, you will get those notifications, recommended videos that get you hooked to this content. There is no doubt. Influencer puffery content is well designed. Because of that, we all fall into this puffery trap. Yes, time to time, I recognize that those influencers, they are giving me some exaggerated claim without providing evidence or consistent study to back them up. Or even, I suspected those recommended products. I thought maybe they will just want to sell me those products. But what I did, I muted all the inner voice in my mind to not bring into the question the integrity of those influencers with whom I was associated. Those influencers with whom I'm seeking recommendation to get to achieve my objective, to get the same shape as them, the same outcomes. I cannot make them the liar. Let me confess. As you may have all imagined, my journey seeking for healthy lifestyle following those influencers may have failed. But it got me to study and learn something much, much valuable the business model behind social media influencer puffery content. But a disclaimer must be said. Not all influencers who use this type of advertisement lie or intend to deceive their followers. There is certain influencer who strive to, to give you valuable content. But we cannot deny there is influencers who is taking advantage of their position, the power granted from the huge number of followers. They threw all marketing principles out of the window. They risk their reputation and even the follower trust. For what? For more likes? For more share? Which may translate to extra cash? Regardless what may be the end result? The thing with influencer puffery content is it comes into package, well disguised, that the line between exaggeration and fact is so thin. And the interest and trust that follower put on those content is very high, is highly deceiving. Then assuming that influencer followers, me and you, we are not taking this claim seriously, is a mistake. It's much more naive thinking than me believing that I can get healthy with those followers. So, as puffery is legal and social media is an open canvas where everyone can share content and even become an influencer, we are in charge. We, as the one following, interacting, and even consuming this content, need to be understanding there is a huge business model behind it. 
It's a new type of advertisement. The next time, please, when your favorite influencer, your virtual friends, share content about beauty routine, weight loss journey, or even home tour, take a moment and you have the right to question their genuine motivation before going and clicking that link, which may take you and guide you to purchase button or make a hasty choice. Thank you very much. <laughs>